Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. I am here with five pointers for all the freshers out there who are going to join their first job. Please ensure you watch this video till end because I have something which is going to help you on the floor in your first job. You are going to thank me for all these five points. All this from my own experience, okay? So before moving ahead guys, please go ahead and press the subscribe button if you have not done yet and also the bell icon so that you receive all the notification. Point number one, asking for help. Now asking help is nothing wrong in that, okay? But how to ask help, what is your approach for asking help is pretty important here. First of all, let's say you are going on in your bike, okay? On the street you are going in your bike and then your bike you know there is some issue with your bike and then you want somebody to help you to you know rectify that issue in your bike so what you do you just go and ask any stranger passing by on the street hey can you help me with this fix that is approach number one and approach number two is you tried many things in your bike let's say you tried to do the manual start you tried to push the bike to start it did not start you tried you know in a different ways you try to start but it is not starting so you tried one thing two thing three things but it is not starting and then you are asking for help that is approach number two approach number one asking for help without trying approach number two asking for help after trying remember guys it will create a lot of lot of difference if you ask for help to someone after trying okay so if there is a person in your team who is senior to you, you are approaching for some help. Do not blindly approach. Try from your side. Tell to the person that, hey, this is what I have tried. It did not work. Can you help me, please? This is first thing I tried. This is second thing I tried. This is third thing I tried. It will help you a lot. Okay. Point number two. I have noted here so that I don't miss anything important. Be formal and be very, very official in the office. Why I am telling you that? Let's go back to your college or university, okay? Let's say in your college there is discussion for um, your final year project. So most of the people are kind of friends and if you miss one discussion, there is no big deal. You don't show up for the meeting or for the discussion. So in colleges, it's little it is taken a little differently, okay? But in office, try to be formal, guys. For example, if you don't attend a meeting, let people know that why are you not attending the meeting. If you are closing early, for example, you have a doctor's appointment, you want to close at let's say 3 p.m. that day. So let people know, let your manager know, let your team lead know that you are closing early today. Do not blindly assume things. Do not keep people in a dilemma that you will be joining, you will not be joining. All these things, guys, uh, will be very, very important as you grow in the career, okay? So don't take these things lightly. Be very, very formal. Be very, very polite. So for example, in office, in colleges, we don't use the words like, please, uh, can you help me, please? Please, can you do this? But in office, this is the normal language, okay? So when you ask somebody for something, you can say, can I ask you, please? Can I call you, please? Something like this. So be formal. So that is something we do not learn in the, mostly in the colleges, universities. Hence, I am telling you that, okay? Point number two. Point number three is many of us, many of the people I know, when they come to their first job, right? Though they have come to their first job, but in their mind, they are in a mindset of going for MBA or going for, you know, some GMAT exam they are preparing. Somebody is preparing for UPSC, some government exams. Many people like that, okay? There is no harm in doing that, guys, okay? But remember one thing, you have to focus on what is your bread and butter. That comes first. And then comes your preparation, all these side things that you are doing. So your main work should not get impacted by whatever preparation, etc. you are doing. Okay. So it should not show up at least. What I have seen is for many people, it, it will show in their, you know, lethargic behavior towards office. They will not respond to emails. They will not do things. Everybody knows that this guy is preparing for MBA. See, many people are preparing for many things in their life. Okay does not mean that somebody who is giving you full-time job and full-time money, you know, paying you for that, you will ignore that. Don't do that. It creates a very bad impression. Okay. Fourth point is 
डोंट टेक योर बॉसेज और योर लीड्स और समबडी डोंट थिंक दैट दे आर मॉन्स्टर्स और दे आर बैड गाइज सो वट आई यूज टू थिंक वेन आई वॉज ए फ्रेशर इज यू नो ऑल दी वर्क आई एम डूइंग एंड दीज गाइज आर जस्ट राइटिंग द ई मेल्स आई एम द वन हु इज वर्किंग ऑन दी ग्राउंड दीज गाइज आर कैंड ऑफ जस्ट अटेंड मीटिंग एंड देन राइट सम ई मेल्स बट बिलीव मी गाइज वंस यू रीच एक्सपीरियंस लेवल ऑफ टेन ईयर्स एंड फिफ्टीन ईयर्स राइट यू विल रियलाइज वॉट इज द क्रिटिकलिटी ऑफ देयर वर्क they are answerable to people more than 10 times more than you are answerable to people okay so every time somebody senior to you is kind of not responding to you or you know you are feeling that you are being uh, you are being given lot of work if you are into that kind of mindset that you are being tortured in the office you can politely ask about it but don't assume things that your boss is a bad guy your team lead is a bad guy everybody has their own set of roles and responsibilities everybody has people to whom they have to answer everybody has their bosses okay so you know um, nothing like anybody has some personal thing with you that they will try to harm you or they will try to put you under pressure normally it doesn't happen apart from few exceptions normally it doesn't happen so be with a open mindset contribute to the organization talk politely uh, clarify your things if you have any doubts i am telling you this because i experienced both the things so when i was a fresher i was i was in a different mindset in in my level of experience you will have a different mindset so i am telling you nobody is a bad guy normally talk things clarify things and it will be okay fine last but not the least be proactive not reactive what is the meaning of being proactive and not reactive so you should not wait for instructions always for example let's say you join and one week has passed after you joined right so you are waiting that somebody will come and tell you that hey you have to raise this access request hey you have to raise this id request hey did you raise this did you set up your outlook did you set up your microsoft teams no what you should do is you should try to get in quickly get in touch with somebody on your floor somebody on your team try to see what they are doing okay bug them try to go and sit with them and then say what they are doing try to learn from them and then when you talk to your manager or team lead or your immediate you know to whom you are reporting you can say that okay i i sit with aman and i saw aman is using this this tools and aman is using this you know technologies so your lead or your manager will be very impressed that this person is proactive in knowing what's happening in the project this person is not waiting for my instructions okay all these things are going to help you very much in the long run guys let me repeat one more time what all i told don't ask for help without trying number 2 don't be informal in the office number 3 keep in mind what is your bread and butter number 4 don't think everybody is a bad guy and number 5 be proactive not reactive believe me guys once you are on the floor in your first job right you will remember these points okay and if you follow this i can tell you you will you will stand out from the crowd from your batch or from from the people who joined with you okay so i wish you all the best with your first job guys and go ahead apply all these things and have a great career ahead i'll see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care